Hey, what's going on, my beautiful, gorgeous family? I'm trying to be careful and not bust my ass walking down this mofo stairs. But look, I have missed you guys like it is nobody's business. So, of course, I had to come and talk to you guys and give you a little bit of, little bit of an update. Damn, bitch. I'm, bitch, are you fucking spitting all over your fucking self? Are you, is there, are you seriously doing that? But I wanted to come and tell you guys a little bit of what has been going on with... Me, girl. Okay, number one, bitch. Okay. But bitch, hold on. But bitch, hold on. Okay, I've kind of been in a funk. So it's kind of like, um, you know, I really haven't been having the urge to vlog. Vlog. To vlog. And that's why, look. Let me tell y'all a little bit of something. Yes, bitch, I'm smacking, okay? Because I feel like smacking once that. Okay, I feel like reaching out. Okay, and smacking and shit. But... You know, I just haven't been feeling inspired to vlog. And damn, my neck looks greasy than a mofo. That's better than that motherfucker looking cruddy, though. Because y'all know I got eczema like a motherfucker. And sometimes, bitch, let me tell y'all. Bitch, let me tell you how uh, fucked up eczema is. Okay, when you got eczema. Okay, when you got eczema, bitch. You got, ooh, you got eczema. Look, let me tell you something. When you got eczema. I don't give a damn how much lotion, oil, or whatever you put on it. Bitch, y'all know it's, bitch, it's springtime, okay? It's be hot than a matter of fact outside now. So you have to really oil and grease your body up regardless, even though it's hot as fuck outside, okay? You have to grease your body up. And bitch, sometimes, I don't give a fuck how much grease you put on your motherfucking body. It'll look like your shit cruddy, okay? Especially up and around the neck area, depending on what type of, you know, eczema you got. But bitch, let me tell y'all, Speaking of fucking eczema, okay, it's this guy, I'm, and I'm not trying to be, <laughs> bitch, just thinking about that shit made me want to fucking hurl, I mean, I'm not even trying to give y'all no dramatics or anything like that, but bitch, I'm, look, I'm, I need y'all to just, you know, picture this, picture this shit right here, um, there's this guy that works in this, uh, Hardee's over here, and I'm, uh, thankfully, Bitch, I'm on this weight loss kick that I'm not even, you know, frequent frequenting that place anymore. But he has eczema. And I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to say that people who have eczema are disgusting because motherfucker, I ain't disgusting, bitch, okay? But his eczema is so bad that his fucking skin, like his arms and stuff, are like fish scales. And he, they fucking be flaking and shit. And he works at Hardy's. So, and he, I don't know if... He didn't have the right type of products. I don't know what the fuck it was, but bitch, he was fucking flaking all over the motherfucking place. And he stayed ashy and the shit was just flaking. <clears throat> and he was cooking in the back. So just imagine how much of his fucking eczema place was flaking off of people motherfucking biscuits and shit. Bitch, that is disgusting, okay? Disgusting. And when I say that motherfucking shit, bitch, um, negative. Okay, if, uh, Lord, forgive me if I'm wrong, okay? Forgive me if I'm wrong, Lord. Please forgive me if I'm wrong, but um, ain't no way in Sam hell I am going to sit around and um, eat no motherfucking biscuits that got no motherfucking alligator flakes in it. I don't give a hook when nobody said I got eczema too, and I would not expect you, okay, to eat nothing that I have motherfucking prepared if I'm fucking flaking. Bitch, come on. That is disgusting, okay? But I mean, literally, his arms are like alligator fur. Ugh. And just thinking about how many times I've probably eaten there before I realized that he worked there in the back. Bitch, I, I probably ate some of that alligator skin. I'm just telling the truth. You know what I'm saying? But hey, that's why your mama and your grandmama and them tell y'all to bless your food, okay? Bless your motherfucking food before you eat that shit, okay? Because, bitch, you never know, okay, what type of motherfuckers back there cooking your shit. I mean, especially if you're going through the drive through and another thing. Quit going through the drive through talking shit to these people. Are you crazy? Do you know what type of shit they can do to your motherfucking food? Because let me tell you, bitch, one day I fucked around and did that shit on accident. One time I fucked around and did that shit on accident and I thought about it. I was like, oh, shit. Um, I just sat there and told these people, um, last time y'all fucked, bitch, let me tell you what I did when I got to that motherfucking window. Um... I said, uh, excuse me, man. I was talking so motherfucking nice to her, but then it was taking too long, um, for old buddy, whoever was cooking in the back, to give me my motherfucking food. So she hadn't took my car just a bitch. Get what I did? I politely drove the fuck up because I was scared. Okay? Because I had fucked up. I had got an attitude with them people at the box. Don't get no attitude with no fast food person at the box because you don't know who the fuck back there fixing your food. Did y'all hear? Okay? Did y'all hear about the motherfucker, um, at the Mickey D's, please? 
who um put a little bit of uh, 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 cream on people's uh, uh, sandwiches saying it was mayonnaise. Bitch, tell me that ain't fucking disgusting. Okay? P bitch. Really? And then you got them herp dogs. You putting your cream on my motherfucking uh, Mickey D's, please? So you mad at me. Okay? You mad at me because you went out there and raw dog somebody. And now you boiling. Okay? And you want to give me some motherfucking uh, herp dog on my motherfucking burger. For real, though? I mean, that's got to be some sick ass shit. And it ain't even that the people was getting at it. He was just randomly putting hurt down. So you mean to tell me you back there wagging off so bad, so hard to the point where you, you are uh, um, creating enough. I don't give a fuck if it was a little, little lot. God damn, the shit nasty, okay? But like I said, I don't even know if this story is true. You can Google the shit. Google the shit, okay? Google that, uh, uh, put in... Man put semen on McDonald's burger. Google that shit. Something like that. It should pop up, okay? It's so much crazy as shit that's going on in the world today, bitch. I just, bitch, I can't even fucking fathom, okay? The type of shit. That's why, bitch, we need to cook at home every opportunity that you have. Another thing, this, uh, this guy that's running for, well, he's a potential Republican candidate. Let me tell y'all something, bitch. Um, the black man. <laughs> I can't think of his motherfucking name. I know he a doctor. I know that. Okay. And I saw the shit all over my Facebook uh, timeline about this nigga talking about, you know, uh, uh, he's, he's being elected as a Republican candidate. Let me tell you something, my brothers and my sisters. Don't fall for the fact that this man is a nigga. Okay. The fact that he colored. The fact that he black. The fact that he is one of our people. Don't fall for that shit. And let me explain why. Google the bitch. Okay, Google his motherfucking ass. You think, some, some of y'all who like, well, he can't do nowhere, so what's going on, right? Let me tell you something, okay? Fuck around. Now, see, them people, see, they trying to play us right now. The Republicans are trying to play us. They probably thinking to themselves, bitch, we know these niggas, they probably going to say, yeah, another black man. Let's vote another black man in the office and make everybody mad, bitch. Vote him in the motherfucking office. <laughs> Let me say who you going to make mad at your motherfucking self. Okay, let me tell you that right here. Right now, I'm not telling you to vote for Hillary or whatever. You can make your own decision. Okay, make your own decision. But let me tell you this right here. This is for those who are dependent upon those types of people, the government and everything. You guys must forget the Republicans run the house. Okay, the Republicans run the motherfucking house. Vote this nigga in. Okay, vote this nigga in. This brown nose motherfucker, and I'm pretty sure, I promise you, they're going to use his motherfucking ass as a puppet. Okay? Vote him in. Google him. God damn it. Google this motherfucker. Do not vote that motherfucker in the office. And now, let's talk about these goddamn people. Bitch, this is supposed to be an update video. See, I... Look, let me, let me say this real quick. Then I, I, I'm not going to go off track. Okay? Because, bitch, I've just been running my motherfucking mouth for the last... 8 minutes and 13 seconds and I haven't even told you guys where I've been but like I said I've been feeling so uninspired to do videos I've been in a funk I've been working like a mother bitch let me tell y'all something I need to quit okay I look I love motherfucking money I'm just gonna tell the truth I gotta you know make money to, to pay for all this big ass expensive ass shit yeah that, I know y'all just saw that shit over there sorry but anyway, I, I, I got to make money to pay for this expensive ass, regular ass shit here. And let me tell y'all about this apartment for a quick. I know y'all probably like, thick chick, you still there? Okay, I think. Okay, I gave those people my 60 day notice. But some things have transpired, great things. And I am I got another job. I'm actually working. <laughs> Bitch, I work like between 55 and 60 hours per week. I got another job. That's 40 hours per week because my, um, the other job that I do as a car reviewer, it right now is only at 20 hours. So, but this summer is going to go right back up to 40. So I don't know how the fuck I'm going to balance that, but I am. Okay. I, I just have to sit down, buckle, buckle down and make me a fucking schedule instead of just randomly working and shit because I can still work whenever I want as long as I have my 40 hours before the week is up on Sunday. Okay. But, bitch. That is a whole nother motherfucking story. I mean, baby, bitch, I love money, okay? And plus, bitch, I, I done got my motherfucking uh, 700 credit score, bitch. Shout out, bitch. High five on that shit, okay? High motherfucking five on that goddamn 700 credit score, bitch. Do not hate the player. I hate the motherfucking game. Let me just say that right here, right now, bitch. Yes. 
Yes, I'm bragging about my 700 motherfuckers credit score. Do not hate the player. Hate the motherfucking gang. Okay? Bam, boom, pow on that head. So, the girl expressed about me having this little job, making a little extra coin and things. Um, I decided, because after I calculated everything, um, it's going to be close to a little over $2,000 for me to move. And then I would have to spend, that. that's including, you know, with the uh, breaking the lease early, me moving out into another place, I have to put another deposit down, then I have to pay to transfer your, you have to pay deposits to transfer your bill. That was just going to be too much motherfucking money, so I was not trying to spend that type of money. That's a little over two grand. So I decided to just push through, make it make it through these next six months. I know y'all are probably like, bitch, you need to get the fuck about it. I think I'm cool for right now. I think I'm cool for right now. I think I'm going to be able to um, push through, you know, with the help of the Lord. Because, yeah, I got my 700 credit score. I'm saving my little bit of coin. A bitch is looking for a motherfucking house fucking apartment bitch yes thick chick vlogs it's gonna be a homeowner i sure the fuck am bitch me and my 700 credit score at an awesome awesome motherfucking rate you best to believe that shit but let's get on these goddamn people welfare people yeah that's where i've been bitch i've been uninspired okay y'all need to keep a bitch uplifted add me on facebook thick chick vlogs okay and a shout out to y'all y'all the real motherfucking mbp i love the fuck out of y'all y'all know how to make me feel better and all that. I, I really do appreciate y'all. Y'all my motherfucking family. Whether you know that shit or not. Okay. My extended family. Y'all my YouTube family. And I love y'all to pieces like on some for real type shit bitch. Especially y'all that be messaging me and be like hey, shit, get up out that motherfucking funk bitch. Get out that funk. Okay. We need your ass. We need to see this beautiful face. Shout out to y'all. Cause y'all my motherfucking ace. Motherfucking. Let, let, me, let me keep moving. This bitch ain't got for two minutes to go in on these motherfuckers in Maine on this motherfucking welfare. Okay, so they sent a little notice to people that's telling them if you want any type of government assistance, if you're getting food stamps, if you're getting welfare, whatever. You have to work a minimum of 20 hours per week or you have to volunteer for 24 hours a week or you have to attend some type of trade school or something, take some kind of class or something to try to get you to trade. Don't you know these motherfuckers? Okay, <clears throat> it was 12,000 of them motherfuckers on the welfare and the food stamps and all the other shit. That shit dropped down to like five or something. 5,000 people from 12. So you mean to tell me your motherfucking ass that goddamn lazy bitch you can fucking ball into. Let me tell you, the place where I was working at the homeless shelter, they, those, they, they didn't let those women sit in the house. You had to either have a job or you had to volunteer somewhere. You're not just going to sit up in the motherfucking house and mope and shit. Those people, literally, they went and volunteered at the VA hospital. All they did was sit behind a desk and play on their phone all day. That's all the fuck you got to do. So you mean to tell me, you that motherfucking tribe, that you can't go and fucking even volunteer for 24 hours. You ain't even, motherfucker, you ain't even really doing the shit to keep getting your benefits. That just goes to show a lot of motherfuckers don't need no motherfucking government assistance. And that's what the fuck pisses me off. I'm showing no piss off. I'm not because bitch, I just got done paying my motherfucking taxes, bitch. Yes, I just got done paying them motherfuckers. I'm kind of big, low key, pissed the fuck off. But it just goes to show how many motherfuckers are abusing, using, and abusing the system. Bitch, I just. I don't know what the fuck to say about this shit. The shit is pissing me off. It's just like this motherfucker who was on um, Judge Million, the People's Court. I was watching the Scorpion show, so I had to go find that motherfucking episode. This girl was on the People's Court suing somebody. Look, suing somebody, living in government houses, suing some motherfucking body, talking about. Um, two 50 inch TVs got stolen, designer bags, designer clothes, and they're like, but you living in government motherfucking housing, bitch? For really, though? You living in government housing, but you able to afford 50, 50 inch TVs? Bitch, I still got that liberty ass TV over there. Sure the fuck do. Okay, I can afford a motherfucking big, big screen TV, but bitch, I got other shit that I need to be doing, okay? Other shit that I need to be motherfucking doing other than buying big screen TVs, even though, bitch, I am about to go buy me a big screen. I ain't gonna motherfucking lie to you. But yeah, that shit just pisses me the fuck off. But do not vote for that goddamn man. Google his goddamn ass. All you gotta do is Google black man running for presidential uh, presidential election 2016 or some shit like that, okay? <sighs> anyway, but you guys, I have a couple more videos that are coming up. Look out for that. I just wanted to come in and tell you guys, thank you so much. I am out of my motherfucking funk, so bitch, I am back in motherfucking action. I hope you guys are ready. Also, go and add me on my Facebook page. I also did a very long thrifting video yesterday. Bitch, I did a voiceover and all that shit. Whenever I get out and go shopping, it really lifts my motherfucking spirits. I'm going to tell you that right here, right now. But, um, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Go and add me on Facebook and I will talk to you guys in the next video. I love you, family.
all y'all motherfuckers. Even your motherfuckers that leave them negative ass comments. I love you too, boo.